Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Python, you can create a program to print a right-angled triangle number pattern. This pattern uses numbers to form a right triangle, where the number of rows determines the height of the triangle. Each row contains consecutive numbers starting from 1. Tutorial on right-angled triangle number pattern. Understanding the pattern. A right-angled triangle number pattern with n rows looks like this. For n equals 5, the first row contains 1, the second row contains 1 2, the third contains 1 2 3, and so on, until the nth row. Steps to create the pattern. 1 Take input, ask the user for the number of rows. 2 Loop through rows, use a loop to iterate from 1 to n, inclusive. 3 Generate numbers, for each row. Generate numbers from 1 to the current row number. 4. Print the row. Print the numbers for each row. Code example. Here's a simple Python program that implements this pattern. Explanation of the code. Function definition. We define a function right underscore angle underscore triangle underscore number underscore pattern, n, that takes one argument, n, which represents the number of rows. Outer loop, the outer loop, for i in range, 1, n plus 1, iterates through each row from 1 to n. Inner loop, the inner loop, for j in range, 1, i plus 1, generates numbers from 1 up to the current row number i. Printing. Print, j, and equals, prints the number j without moving to a new line. Print, after the inner loop is used to move to the next line after printing all numbers for the current row. Input handling, the program uses a try block to handle potential input errors, ensuring that the user provides a positive integer. Running the program. When you run the program, it will prompt you to enter the number of rows. For example. Conclusion. This tutorial has shown you how to create a right-angled triangle number pattern in Python. You can modify this code to create different patterns or enhance it with additional features, such as formatting the output or using different characters. Happy coding!